There is so much speculation right now over who the vice president could be and who she could choose now as her running mate to be vice president in her presidential bid. Yes, one potential option is very familiar to us here in Minnesota. Our Bailey Hurley joins us live at the state capitol to break down the new developments, Bailey. Leopold, some political experts, they are throwing Governor Tim Walz's name into the hat of potential vice president candidates. He's joining now a short list of other candidates that are on the table right now. That includes men who are currently in critical battleground states. That includes Pennsylvania's governor, Josh Shapiro, North Carolina governor, Roy Cooper, Kentucky governor, Andy Bashir, and Arizona senator, Mark Kelly. We did speak with two University of Minnesota political science professors yesterday just about the possibility of Walls as VP. They both agreed Walls' background would expand the ticket's reach, and they also pointed out that the Minnesota DFL has had a productive few years. Experts saying that's helped Walls grow his national name recognition. He has many advantages going for him. He's, of course, a white male. He is uh, he was a teacher from Mankato. Um, he also has experience in the uh, Army National Guard. So bringing that military experience, I think, would be very valuable to her. He's also had a lot of experience working with the bureaucracy in Washington, which requires a real skill set. Now, we did reach out to Walls for a comment just to see what his interest level is as a running potential running partner for Harris here. We heard back from their, his spokesperson yesterday. They say that while Governor Walls does plan to do everything that he can to help defeat Donald Trump in the election this November, he also remains focused on his job as governor of Minnesota. Leah Paul. Okay, Bailey Hurley, thank you.